Inside Edition with Deborah Norville. Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining us. The dentist is back at work. Six weeks after a dentist was reviled for shooting Cecil the Lion, Dr. Walter Palmer is back at his dental practice. But he had to make his way through protesters before he could see any patients. The dentist who killed beloved Cecil the Lion returned to work Tuesday for the first time since he sparked international outrage. Dr. Walter Palmer hasn't been seen in public for two months. He says it's time to get back to work. Flanked by a security guard, he walked swiftly to the entrance of his dental practice in Bloomington, Minnesota, as protesters screamed. I will never forget what you did! He's despicable. He's he's a killer. He's a murderer. Jennifer Ann Wilson of Minneapolis station KSTP is there. There's a lot of media here, actually international media all over the world, interested in today right here in Bloomington, Minnesota. You can also see a police officer speaking with about a handful of protesters. They've been here since early this morning, the police officers as well as the protesters. Now, the officers are just trying to make sure that what the protesters are doing do doesn't cross the line over into harassment. Someone taped these messages to the front door to Palmer's dental office. Justice for Cecil and may you never hunt again. Palmer's security guy scraped them off while cops looked on. And a handful of patients showed up. Several people I've seen walk through that front door that appear to be patients are just making a beeline for the front door. They're parking in a side parking lot, not actually the parking lot for the dentist's office. The man I was able to speak with one-on-one, -on -one, he started getting a little nervous when the protesters directed their chance at him, but he said it wasn't going to stop him from going to show support for Dr. Palmer. Dr. Palmer, who denies any wrongdoing, says he relied on advice of a local guide he hired in Zimbabwe, and he says he has yet to be contacted by anyone in connection to any investigation of the killing.